Hey everyone, Luke here, aka Stomba Zach, and I'm here with another comic review. This time of Batman Earth One by Jeff Johns and Gary Frank. Um, this is a uh, original graphic novel. They've read a bunch of other um, Earth One uh, books, namely Superman. I think Wonder Woman's getting her own. Teen Titans has one coming out um, in the next couple months or so. Uh, and I bought this a couple of years ago, I think. Um, it, it, maybe actually, actually before before I got I, I got into comics and I heard good things about this I bought it but it really until last August or September that I ever got into it and I bought this about a year before that so anyway uh, this is basically um, um, an updated version of Batman's origin has the death of his parents um, a bit of his training but it's mostly about his his early years and, and how he's sort of um, developing his skills I mean you see. You see him fail quite a bit, which is something that you don't really see in a lot of Batman books. There's been criticism that he's sort of like a bad god, that he knows what to do, knows how to defeat the enemies, and always comes out on top and doesn't really fail. Um, but this is definitely not the case. So kudos to Jeff Johns for um, showing that Batman is human, that he's not, um, not he's not Superman. He's not um, one of these characters that has a superpower and can sort of float above it all, you know? Um, this, this sort of features some alternate versions of, of characters, namely um, Alfred, who was a, um, it was a, an ex-Marine, or is in the, the Queen's Royal uh, Navy, I believe. Um, uh, there's also um, uh, Harvey Bullock, who's much younger than he is in the, in, uh, I guess, in, in sort of quote-unquote canon. Um, uh, appearances he makes. He's not a, sort of a slovenly, overweight uh, cop. Sort of a, uh, uh, very, uh, a young, thin, kind of kind of Hollywood cop, I guess, which makes sense because he um, he hosted um, a show out, out in Hollywood where he would sort of um, follow LAPD around and sort of document their lives and stuff like that. So um, he's sort of been transferred to Gotham because um, I guess, um, I believe he says, um, every crime can be a headline. So he's basically there for the spotlight, and he gets teamed up with uh, Jim Gordon, who looks pretty much uh, similar to the way he does in all, in all, all the other comics, and there aren't, aren't too many other differences I can think of right offhand. Um, the origin, for, for the most part, is, stays relatively the same. I mean, there isn't a whole lot of difference. I mean, I think they add um, some a little more modern references here and there, I think there was some Blu-ray and other sort of um, uh, modern type stuff. So you know, I mean, that's that's it's all right, but it doesn't really change the whole uh, story as a whole. But um, um, so anyway, um, Bruce Wayne as Batman tries to find who um, who killed his parents, and it leads him to a henchman who is working with uh, Mayor Cobblepot, aka the Penguin. Another sort of a change there. I don't, at least I, I don't think um, um, Oswald uh, Cobblepot was ever the mayor in any other book. But I, I could be wrong. If I am, feel free to correct me in the comments. Um, but anyway, he finds th th this henchman traces him back to Cobblepot and then um, has to sort of deal with um, um, uh, Gordon and Bullock. They're going after this, um, this uh, serial killer. Um, who um, has some interesting connections as well. I'll leave that mystery. I think, I think this is also a, a new character. Guy with a big hood over his face. I'll leave that um, vague unless you want to want to read it. Let me get some of the art here by Gary Frank. Um, the art is sort of the downfall of this this story, in my opinion, because um, Gary Frank is sort of in uh, of the school of, of like uh, Jason Fabok or a David Finch, a little bit of a Chris Burnham, in the sort of the way that the characters are drawn and sort of the I don't know, I guess the sort of the textures of uh, the characters where they're sort of realistic but they're still kind of I don't know, it's kind of a kind of a strange quality. But I'm not really a fan of, of that 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 whole style and that sort of sort of a DC's house style for a while now, unfortunately. Sort of the grim and gritty, um, overly muscle-bound heroes and 
Um, I don't know. I've just never, never, never really been, been a fan of it. That's why I, I couldn't really get into uh, Detective Comics when I was when I first started because Tony Daniel, who also sort of has that style, was sort of was uh, doing the story, and I only really read it because because I heard of you know what happened to the Joker. You know, so, so the sort of Joker and the the uh, yeah, doll maker uh, story that uh, that uh, undoubtedly a lot of you have, have read if you've been keeping up on Batman and the uh, New Fifty Two, but. I'm just not really a fan of, of Gary Frank's art, unfortunately, and um, I don't know if he's doing uh, Earth Two, um, the, the sort of sequel to this with uh, Jeff Johns as well. If there's are getting someone else, but uh, if he is, I, if I won't check it out just because it's not it's just not really my, my favorite thing. And I think Batman deserves better. Not to say that you know Gary Frank is a bad artist. I just think his art, I don't know, will probably be best served somewhere else. But I think that. You know, I mean, it would be awesome to see someone like Greg Capullo or Neil Adams or um, Norm Breifogel, any 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 number of, of artists to take on Batman who who know the character from doing um, you know countless stories uh, with him. And I don't know, it just seemed kind of I don't know. I just I just sort of had to trust through the art just because there's kind of. I don't know. This, this wasn't really a fan. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if I can find this here, but kind of a weird. Uh, you can see Batman's eyes in this, which isn't really my favorite thing either. But I could have lived with it if the art had been better. Now, where is this? He does. Uh, Harvey Dent is also in this. The younger, uh, younger kid. All the flashbacks. Let me see here. Sorry for the. dawdling here. Where is it? <laughs> so kind of a weird effect that Gary Frank uses on Harvey Bullock's teeth. I don't know if that's how visible that is. Sorry, it's kind of hard to show the art and hold the camera at the same time. I really need to get a tripod. But, um, just kind of kind of weird looking, and, I, and I'm, I'm not like a fan of it. I'm, I'm, I'm sort of rambling here, but I think Jeff Johns could have had um, a better, better artist on this book, unfortunately. So that being said, it's, it was still a pretty de decent story. Um, sort of the things that you sort of read and then move on is sort of the the New Fifty Two origin, basically. And there isn't really a whole lot of other things I could say about it. I mean, it was certainly uh, competently done, but again, the art's kind of brought it down for me. Um, I feel like it's a seven out of ten. I think the story elevates elevates it to where if if the story had been bad, I'd, I probably would have given it a five or six, just because that art, man. Sorry for rambling around here, but um, I'm sure your local library has it, or maybe you can find it for cheap at your at your comic shop. But I don't know, it just didn't really impress me art wise, and I kind of brought brought it down. But if you're interested in the Batman origin, you want uh, the newest take on that uh, pick it up but otherwise um, I guess I, I guess if you steer clear read Batman Year One or, or any myriad of uh, other other titles unfortunately um, having a bit of a shake up with my schedule here I wanted to get some other library books but those are taking a little a little long to get here so I'm going to uh, give you guys a little preview of what I'm going to be reviewing next this is also from my personal collection as is Batman Earth One it is a Manhunter, the special edition, and it's gold for some reason. I don't know why. Interested to read that. I think I flipped through the art. It's a fairly, fairly thin book, so I should be able to get through it pretty, pretty, pretty quick and hopefully get the, uh, the video up there. But I'm rambling here, over nine minutes long. Probably too long to do this video. But anyway, that's what you can expect next time. And uh, in the meantime, happy reading.